Well, this is Trap Red with another Trap Red YouTube video. Um, I decided because PayPal's coming out with this new um, policy come July, I think it is. I'm not sure. I haven't read the notification uh, as to what date it's going to be enacted. I think the 15th July, somewhere on it. Anyways, they're talking about uh, exclusivity rights to republication of intellectual property that's posted on to their website. Uh, some disclaimer about their affiliation with eBay, which everybody in the industry knows is a complete lie because they're linked together like Siamese twins. Anyways, <clears throat> not to get all into it, but... Uh, I wanted to show you my um, latest modifications for the uh, muskrat mansions and the tools necessary to uh, make it. This right here is a uh, bottom part, bottom section right here. Um, <clears throat> whoa, getting uh, caught up in things. Let me um, let me just hold it like this and I'll show you. So what we have here is uh, recessed doors now. These are new features. Recessed doors with a uh, a lock, a built-in locking, basically curl. It strengthens the door uh, a lot, um, a lot more uh, strength in the door because of its smallness area and also it's positive locking now whereas before it was um, just a standard angled in door that was eight by five this is five by five uh, I've got this one here that's basically five by six it's just I left it longer and if the customer wants they can trim it off like the other shorter one version but I thought okay I'll leave it like this because it's not really necessary but it does act as a better positive engagement see you see this is the fifth one so the fifth one's enough but the sixth one really sets it home and as you can see right here I haven't attached the springs yet but this new door feature not only features the uh, <clears throat> two inch woven fun funnel entry which is four by six but also has the snowshoe positive wire woven door and these are going to be attached these arms right here will be attached uh, to um, coil spring door spring small one will come down here it can be either single or double spring affair so basically you got <clears throat> these two doors and then the trap door to the bottom compartment and then you have uh, the bait container now this is not does not have the bottom release doors put in yet it's still in process so and this is what the bottom section looks like before it's put on before it's woven on and then the top is basically woven on you know by the assembler which is me right at the moment and then it's just woven together and then the release door and the uh, the catch door in the front <clears throat> toe door basically one's movable and the other's not um, I decided to only have one release door which is in the back and the front is fixed but it's not done yet so I'll show you the whole trap when it's done these are the tools I use to make these so as you can see it's just a standard hammer and a rubber mallet and here's your J-clip uh, pliers very important they're about 15 16 bucks a pair these are dykes wire nippers needle nose pliers a couple weiss tin snips so you can see they're getting rusted because they got rained on so 
I need to take better care of the tools and spray them down with some rust remover, put them in some grease, pack them in some grease, and then it's just a standard um, tape measure. These are all the tools you're going to need to do this type of construction. Right here, you'll need a 16 gauge wire and uh, a roll of number 9 wire. You can get the both items at uh, Lowe's hardware store. Not that I'm endorsing Lowe's or anything else. I think Tractor Supply has similar type products. I don't know. But anyways, you're looking at 16 gauge or 14 gauge would be better if you can get it heavier if you really want to make something to last. That's what we're going for. Right now, these are 16 gauge. So this is Trap Red. Talk to you. YouTube video. How to throw together these muskrat mansions. These are floating traps.